So for more on the story, we now welcome Philip Bendheim, the Director of International Relations and Resource Development at the organization Yad Sara. Philip, thank you so much for your time today. And these are devastating case numbers in India right now, concerns about the health sector's ability to cope. What exactly is your organization doing to help right now in terms of equipment and aid? Uh, well, a number of organizations have uh, turned to us uh, for the reason that there's nobody uh, who has the experience and expertise that Yatsara has with um, at-home, in-home care. And this is uh, the organizations that have turned to us have been the National Security Council, as well as Israeli Foreign Affairs and uh, Indian representatives within the, uh, the Emirates. Um, they've all appealed to us. We, uh, we responded by taking a look to see exactly what we were able to spare. Um, first and foremost, dealing with uh, what we need to deal with there in Israel successfully. And we've put that together and they've been, uh, all the products have been ready and actually uh, palletized on, I understand, about 70 pallets are ready to go, uh, waiting for, uh, for a go ahead. Now, obviously, the situation in India is very dire. 300,000 new infections every day. And obviously, every bit of help is crucial, but it can feel like a drop in the ocean. Where exactly is this relief being sent? And what response are you getting from authorities out of New Delhi? Uh, well, first of all, you know, uh, we believe, the world believes, uh, the Torah believes that every single life saved is an achievement. And uh, we're trying to do the best we can. As I mentioned, uh, we, we have assembled the number of materials and equipment that we can. It's been at this point about uh, 1,500 oxygen generators, uh, 1,800 uh, inhalators, uh, over a couple hundred of CPAP, BPAP machines, and thousands of uh, uh, oximeters and thermometers, all the kinds of things that people need to be able to uh, stay out of a hospital if they can even get to a hospital and when they can these are unnecessary stays and to be uh to recover and recuperate within the uh the warmth and care of their home and their community uh we we are waiting to hear uh from the authorities either there or probably through the uh, nsa over here i imagine uh will give the actual go ahead to be able to uh to send the materials out and load them and get them to india and of course, here in Israel, Philip, the vaccination rollout is happening at a world-leading pace. The lockdown exit strategy is well underway. How can people here help those who are watching right now? What kind of appeal do you have for people who would also help and would like to make a difference too? So uh, we suggest following the lead of Rabbi Uri Lepolyansky, the founder who um, started this organization 46 years ago with one uh, inhalator um, and expanded to what we have today. Uh, when he first heard about the, the, the very beginnings of, uh, of the pandemic, which was then not yet a pandemic, just the COVID release, uh, went ahead and ordered against most people's uh, thoughts. He went ahead and geared up and ordered uh, thousands and thousands of uh, pieces of equipment, oxygen generators and other equipment um, because of the connections that he's maintained and we've maintained uh, primarily in China. Other countries turned us down, uh, but they didn't. They didn't. They stood by us. And he today as well has contacted all the manufacturers that we're in touch with and asked them to be ready for increased orders. Uh, there are countries who have embargoes on this type of equipment and they're not releasing from their own country. Uh, we stand ready. We have the expertise. And uh, sometimes just getting the equipment is not enough. We've heard that there are people who've had stockpiles of equipment, but they don't know what to do with them. So Yasara is happy, willing, ready, able to offer the, the guidance, how to use the machinery. Um, we're happy to actually place the orders if people would like to contribute to Yad Sara. We will go ahead and place the orders at, uh, at the very significant uh, low cost that we have and share at and, um, and, and move the materials out as best we can and help as much as we can and as many people as we can. Well, thank you so much, Philip Bendheim. And as we say here in Israel, well done, Kola Kavod, on all the work you and your team at Yad Sarah are doing. Thank you and be well. Kola Kavod, thank you.